Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of to realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day. Using all their senses, skills, creativity, they're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, last time, the 300th challenger marched into the kitchen stadium. The challenger who did justice to this commemorative occasion, Dominique Corby. He is the head chef of La Tour d'Argent's only branch in Tokyo. Truly a young genius. Corby, a culinary master, appointed iron chef. Chen San, if I may. The challenger from the restaurant with the 400-year history chooses the longest-serving Iron Chef Chen Kenichi. The theme ingredient I gave them was foie gras. Naturally, everyone thought the French chef had an edge. How did the two chefs tackle the ingredient? And now a flip over in the walk, yes. I asked Challenger Corby to give me his concept for today, and he said it'll be a combination of Tour d'Argent classic dishes and my own original recipes, a dinner course for the coming century. Back to you. Challenger Corby, relying on his expertise in using foie gras, created five dishes that enhance the tradition of French cuisine. On the other hand, Chen, while struggling with foie gras, which is virtually non-existent in Chinese cuisine, pulled off an innovative set of five dishes that suggest new possibilities in modern Chinese cuisine. And after the fierce battle, the verdict handed down was... It's a tie! We're going to overtime! Incredible! Chen managing to force OT against Colby, who couldn't win in regulation with Foagra. Total points tied at 78. We have overtime! The flames of this rivalry will continue to burn for an additional 30 minutes! So now, you two chefs, use all you have left and make this sixth overtime battle a truly historic one.
Okay, they'll try it again. Iron Chef Chen, Challenger Corby, our 300th challenger in here, the man from La Tour d'Arjan, unable to finish off the Iron Chef despite having foie gras. Into overtime they go, 30 minutes with the asparagus. On a kizen! Okay, for the second time today, the opening gong banged and overtime is on. And what a battle going into OT, just the sixth overtime in Iron Chef history. And Chen grabbing a hold of the overtime theme ingredient. And Corby already getting back down to his side of the kitchen. 30 minutes, and they will pass by quickly in this overtime session. Kuzan. Go ahead, Ota. Yeah, Iron Chef Chen feeling the pressure of this overtime battle said, forgive me for saying, do I really have to do this? First of all, I don't think the tasters can eat anymore. Yes, with the fantastic foie gras dishes, the tasters enjoyed might not have much room left, Doc. Yeah, you're right. I actually didn't see too many people not finishing their plates before. Well, fortunately, the theme ingredient here for the extra session, not a heavy duty item as the challenger there peeling a stalk of white asparagus, working with the white ones right out of the gate. And the Iron Chef over on his side of the kitchen, he is Kizan. starting with the green ones, yes. Yeah, Challenger Corby is also concerned about the overtime. He says the panel has had a lot of heavy dishes, so I'll just make a couple more light dishes. I think both men will approach it that way, lighter dishes, you have to, taking into consideration the earlier tasting, what, uh, 10 foie gras dishes the tasters had? Now, right here on the Iron Chef's side, asparagus tips being boiled, throwing a few more in there, and Chen moving quickly in the early going of overtime. Back with Corby, and he's still working on peeling the skin from the stalks of those big white asparagus, asparagi, maybe. And now our two guests from the tasting panel have made their way back to their seats after having their fill of foie gras. We're back. That was great. With us once again, Norio Fukutomi and Yuko Sano. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. All right, you guys split. Uh, Sano-san, you had it, the Iron Chef winning 20 to 19, and Fukutomi-san, you mm. went for the challenger, same 20 to 19 score. Uh, the rationale behind your vote, Fukutomi-san? Well, now, I'd like to make this perfectly clear. Uh, just on the flavors alone, they were both exquisite. And okay. on the appearance of the dishes, I like those of the challenger just a bit more. One point edge there. Yeah, just a hair difference in presentation, that's all. Honestly, it, it's it's a tough one here. Real struggle. Very, very tough, yeah. And Asano-san? Well, I agree. I really wasn't able to say which was better than which. But you know, with foie gras as an ingredient, of course you think about French dishes. But Chen San, as a Chinese chef, really pulled it off exquisitely with that ingredient. That's why I gave him one extra point. Perfect 20, okay. And can't forget our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Keep it going in OT. Okay. Yes. I just got a few more comments from Iron Chef Chen on how he felt after finding out about the overtime. He says, I'm totally surprised, but to use foie gras and Thai tour d'argent, I think, is a good sign, don't you? <laughs> he deserves <laughs> saying that. <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling real good. <laughs> got to be Iron Chef Chen Kenichi taking it to OT. Hear that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Think the Iron Chef's uh, got some squid over there now. Yeah, calamari. Fukuzan. Yes. Yeah, continuing with Chen San about his overtime strategy, he tells me he's going very light on everything, but will try to accentuate the natural flavor of asparagus. So both chefs are taking the same path with much lighter flavors. All right, lighter flavors, and there will be fewer dishes with just 30 minutes of cooking time as Corby chopping the white asparagus. And now let's review the scores from the earlier battle. Kano and Asano, 20 to 19 Iron Chef. Fukutome and Hosoki, 20 to 19 the challenger, two to two and tally up the points. They end up tied at 78 and thus we have overtime. Mm. Wow, wow, what a yes. matchup. I asked Chef Corby uh, how he feels about this ingredient and he replied that it's one of my favorites and this time I will win for sure because I represent Tour d'Argent. One of the mm. most famous restaurants in the world, La Tour mm. d'Argent, Dominique Corby heads the kitchen at their only branch restaurant, Tour d'Arjan Tokyo, quite a position for a chef in his early 30s. The Iron Chef, he's had only one overtime battle before, which he'd lost to Liang Shu King. Who can ever forget that one pork belly giving way to Konyaku in overtime and Liang pulling out a fourth dish? Start to finish Kuzan. in the last four minutes, go. That's exactly what I asked uh, Chen San, and his reply was, I feel like I've used up all my fuel this last hour, but I'll give it my best with whatever I've got left. All right, well, for Chen, it was an exhaustive effort in the earlier battle, and now having to summon up the energy for another Another 30 minutes against a still confident challenger. And you can notice the challenger using white asparagus and he's pan frying them in olive oil and then adding some salt and pepper. Yeah. Basic very approach. Simple. Yeah, very much so. But right now, simple might be best. Uh, asparagus is often used in Chinese cuisine, right? Yeah, and they actually use it whole and maintain the shape. Right? Huh, okay. But white asparagus reminds me more of French cuisine. 
Yeah, good point. Yeah. In case of Chinese cuisine, he could actually use the white ones like bamboo shoots. Oh, really? Right. Well, okay. Now he's using the blender. Right. The Iron Chef here putting chopped up green asparagus into the blender. Looks like he's Fukusan. cooked it a bit. Yes. Yes, these were boiled. Uh, he was boiling the tips of the green asparagus, and he is now blending them. Okay. And, and oh, and he's just added Chanton broth to that. All right. Mm. Got it. Chanton broth. And Fukuzan, yes. about the asparagus, Chanson explains that if you cook it too long, it goes too soft, but it's good in stir-fry dishes. For me, this is a piece of cake compared to foie gras. <laughs> All right. Easy, I guess. I bet. Definitely for the Iron Chef, he's on terra firma working with asparagus. Now the challenger flipping, flopping, asparagus frying in there. Just salt and pepper, Fukutomi san. Yeah, yeah, so far, this, this alone would be more than enough. Yeah, because of the olive oil. Oh, the olive oil. <laughs> Healthy amount of that. Yeah. Fukusan! Yes. Yeah, and this, in addition to the white asparagus, he tells me is also has hot chili powder. Oh, it's hard to see that. As well as balsamic vinegar now. Okay, balsamic vinegar just in. Whoa, on fire, a burst of flames. He's fired up for overtime. And for Kuzan? Yes. Yeah, by watching the challenger, you can tell his instructions to his assistants are very strict, precise, and blunt. Hmm, maybe starting to feel the pressure there, wanting to win in the worst way. Well, I'm just overwhelmed. He's got some new ingredients in there. On Corby's side. Yeah, I saw some celery in there as well. All right. Celery, okay. Oh, is that milk? Milk? I think it is milk, and he has both white and green asparagus in this Ooh. and some leeks perhaps wow looks good mm. not too sure Fukusan? yes yeah let me tell you what I've got on this white color dish uh, on the challenger side it contains onions leeks champignon mushrooms fennels asparagus and noisette but I'm still not sure about the uh, white base I'll have to get back to you on it the noisette is hazelnuts ah, okay now we know it's oh. fresh cream cream okay oh. all right mm -hmm. sounds like yeah. he's operating in a classic French mode and Fukusan? go yeah the ingredients in the Iron Chef's food processor are chicken breast meat evaporated milk and Chinese rice wine he was working on that just a minute ago. All right, thanks, Ota. Oh, and he's also added egg whites to that. Oh, okay. And still on Chen's side, the food processor here being employed. He had the green asparagus before in the blender, but were there prawns in front there? Maybe that blended in there, yeah. Part of this uh, processed in? Okay. So maybe some dumplings Fukusan? or something. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, here are some comments from Iron Chef French Sakai up in the Royal Box. Quote, I think the challenger is under pressure this time without the advantage of using his favorite foie gras. With asparagus, I believe Chinson has the edge. The tables have turned. Mm. Uh -huh. Of course, the other Iron Chefs are putting in extra duty today, spectating. All of them up there have had overtime battles. They know what Chen's going through. And now some rhythmic clapping from Corby supporters upstairs. They're spirits not flagging in the extra session. And now some rhythmic clapping from Corby supporters upstairs. Their spirits not flagging in the extra session as the challenger checking in on his white asparagus in the steamer. Going to keep him in there a little bit longer apparently. Kuzan. Yes. I asked Iron Chef Chen how many dishes he's planning on making, and he said, I don't know yet. I'm just moving my hands and seeing what comes out. Three, uh, maybe just two. Come back later, he says. So I guess it's back to you. <laughs> All right. Well, overtime had to be the last thing these guys were anticipating. Now just have to gear up again. Iron okay. Chef Chen and Corby. Definitely. 30 minutes is tough, you know. Just let instinct take over and go as we approach the 20-minute mark. <laughs> this has got to be torture. A third will be gone, and the number 300 carved in ice in the center of the kitchen. How much longer will that hold up in overtime? Yeah, you can see it's yeah. starting to melt That's a right. Out. Yeah, it's getting a bit rounded there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was cool, oh. cold, sharp-looking 300 when we began, but that seems like a long time ago in the foie gras battle. If you can't stand the heat... Well, neither of these chefs are going to be feeling the heat like the ice sculpture is, and there are 20 minutes left. Neither is going to vacate the premises either. And the Iron Chef here with, um, hmm. Looks like evaporated milk. Evaporated milk, huh? I'm not too sure, however. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, this whitish ingredient is, uh, that the Iron Chef is uh, working on is actually that mix of chicken breast meat, evaporated milk, Chinese rice wine, and egg whites out of the food processor, to which he added white asparagus, python soup, and salt. Hmm. Mm. Bevy of ingredients. Yeah, so the white asparagus was added to that then, right? Mm. And Fukuzan? Go ahead. Yeah, I asked uh, Chef Corby if he had a plan of attack for today, and he said, to be honest, I'm still thinking as I'm cooking, but I do want to incorporate at least one classical dish. <laughs> All right, thanks, okay. big fella. Both men have kind of got it on auto, Chef and OT. And Corby with the taste test of some of the herbs he's selecting now. And uh, we did tell you, Tour d'Orjan means silver tower, and they've brought in a lot of their own silverware today. The restaurant with a history of more than 400 years since its establishment. Could even consider it a uh, national treasure almost. Fukuzan. Yes. Yeah, Challenger Corby, if you'll remember, had something in a bowl chilling in ice. Uh, right. That'd be uh, this dish uh, here, if you can see it there. Mm -hmm. He just uh, tried that and exclaimed, hey, wow, this is actually really good. <laughs> <He> surprised <laughs> himself. Good for Corby.
Now let's get over to Chen. Now what's he up to? Got some ice too. A squid? Oh yeah, yeah, the okay. squid, you're right. Yeah. Now, okay. is this okay. cut like noodles? No, I don't think so. All right. I think this is just to get a chewy texture. Icing it down. Right. Yeah. Okay, and here, this might be from the blender, perhaps? Oh, I think I see. The Iron Chef is in the process of making a soup, like a light soup. Okay, and doesn't ah. Corby have something similar color-wise on his side? Let's see if we oh, can really? find out Which about that. one are okay. you talking about? Uh, he's using the blender as well. Oh, this one here. Right there, this is Corby's. Oh, right, right. I see, okay. okay. You know, I think there's some steam coming off that. Oh, yeah, let's yes, right. 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 <laughs> Go. Yeah, I believe you're looking at the uh, green puree stuff on the, uh, not on the Challenger side, but on the Iron Chef side. Uh, okay. Yes, this one here. This is boiled green asparagus tip which were liquefied and mixed with Chanton broth and salt and lao ju. Chanton lao ju. Wow. All right, okay. both sides, soup's on. And mm. the Iron Chef, his is starting to thicken up nicely there. And for Kuzan? Go. Yeah, now on the other side, the ingredients in the Challenger's blender are sautéed onions, leeks, champignon mushrooms, fennels, asparagus, fresh cream, and hazelnuts all being blended together. Roger. Ooh. Oh, okay. wow. Several vegetables, a few other items, and we can tell it is warm, a rather involved mixture there. Yeah, now, what is... What is he adding here now? Croissant. Evaporated milk? Uh, evaporated milk, Fukusan? okay. okay. Go. Yes, exactly. That's a mix of chicken breast meat, evaporated milk, Chinese rice wine, egg whites, white asparagus, Oof. pineton soup, and salt from a moment ago. How wonderful. Both mm. with soups, and why not? Easy on the tasters in the second round. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, that's the way to do it. That's the correct thing to do. And uh, Corby, the challenger, has fennel in his, right? Mm. And fennel. some hazelnuts. So those uh, ingredients really help with digestion. I see. Oh, uh -huh, right. And now, the Iron Chef, what, is he rolling asparagus? All right, I mean, Chen attempt, that's attempting to roll frying. here. Uh, uh, that's what I guess. Okay, well, that's quite a popular dish. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it is. It's not overpowering at all. Fukutomi-san, you make this one at home? Yes, I do. Any tips you can offer? Tips? Uh, try to avoid going cooking them a bit too hard. Don't overcook them. Right, right. And you should use a strong fire. High heat, short and sweet? Fukuzan! Go! The yeah, Iron Chef Chen tells me that what matches best with asparagus is bacon and shrimp, and it can also be used nicely in a chilled soup in the summertime. But what should I make? I can't decide. I don't have enough time. Well, Leave me alone. Do Just else cook, this. baby. <laughs> Two pedestrians. Is it? Go! Speaking of the bacon wrapped asparagus, here he has prepared scampi prawns sprinkled with salt, pepper, and cornstarch and combined them with sliced bacon and green asparagus. Well, that's not pedestrian. Uh, mm. Seems. Mm, and seems then later, good. fry him in the wok. Uh, that's that's likely, I think. All right, and Asano san, um, what about today? Yeah. Can you handle some soup? Oh yes, I think I can. <laughs> How about the solid food? <laughs> oh, I don't want anything too oily, honestly. Give him a morning. miss. Yeah, huh? yeah. All but right. I'm going for it. Too much rich foie already. <laughs> already, yes. <laughs> All right, and Corby shoots a glance up at his entourage, acknowledgement of their latest round of cheering for him, the rhythm of the fight. Go. You can barely hear the 15-minute call. 15 minutes left in the battle. Fukuzan. Yes. Advice from Iron Chef Morimoto in the Royal Box on fighting an overtime battle. Quote, after eating 10 or more dishes, you have to serve things that are light, light, light. That and sheer willpower will get you a win in overtime. Oh. Go for it, Chan San. Oh, <laughs> overtime turns into a marathon, a battle of wills, and Morimoto's overtime win came against the Ota faction. Scallions, the theme, he survived that one outlasting challenger Yamashita. I agree with the going light strategy, but dishes with some sort of spice and a little bit of an impact should light be used with here. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. One way yes. Mm. Yeah, I asked Chef Shimizu in the Royal Box to give us a prediction of what to expect from the challenger, and he told me I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm guessing he'll have one dish with hollandaise sauce. All right, and oh. Chef Shimizu, the first Japanese assistant head chef at Latour La Darjan, now has his own restaurant in Tokyo. And the hollandaise mm. sauce dish is a classic one. Mm -hmm. It's almost the origin of mayonnaise, but of course a lot more sophisticated. Right. Right. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah, I mentioned uh, to Iron Chef Chen that the challenger is preparing at least one traditional dish, and he replied, well, I will too, of course, a classic Sichuan dish. What else in such a short period of time? What what, what do you expect? Right on. <laughs> As you said, Doc, something spicy should be in there. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And for Chen, right up his alley with his Sichuan cuisine. Fukuzan. Yes. The Iron Chef Kobe, also watching from the Royal Box, says using asparagus, Chen San seems to be less stressed out than the first battle, but I'm worried that at his age he might be tiring. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, an eight shot. Yeah, you gotta be in great shape for I this. wouldn't worry about Chen running out of steam. It's the other side I'd be concerned about. <laughs> if we really? can get a shot of uh, the dish the Challenger is decorating right now, this is actually spicy. Oh, Ooh, really? Looking uh -huh. good. Uh -huh. it looks good. And some jelly, I believe, Consumé spooned around. Jelly, right? mm. Consumé mm. jelly, and are those long onions there, scallions? I don't think so. What? 
white white asparagus. Well, yeah, Excuse asparagus, on. yes, go. Let me give you the details on this. On top of the consomme jelly, he has a mix of olive oil, white asparagus, salt and pepper, hot chili spice, and veal broth all stewed together and chilled. All right, and wow. the last touch, some fresh chopped herbs there. And the hot chili powder is the real and accent croissant. of this. Yeah. Go. Yeah, the green garnishes going up on top are mint and stavia. Thank you. Stavia. I'd have to say mm. for Corby, one is done and out of the way with that yep, one. Yep, yep, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> and the other one is his soup, so we can make out two dishes from Challenger Corby so far. No, three with the white asparagus one. Oh, and right. all are fluffy, not stuffy. That's the approach for today. Fukuza! <laughs> <laughs> yes? Yeah, I just got some comments from Challenger Corby's wife, Miwa, who I must say is just head over heels for him. She says he looks a bit tired, so I'm not, uh, so I am worried about him, but I'm not worried about his dishes. Keep it up, dear, she said. <laughs> all right, well. The challenger's wife did look a little apprehensive there. Been a long day for her, too. Corby's wife, Miwa San, up in the royal box. Wow, now the Iron Chef is awesome. All right, checking in with Iron Chef Chen. Ten minutes left now. It's so great. Yeah, and the two items in the squid, and I think the sauce is hot and spicy here. Yeah, I agree with that. I think so. Fukuzan! Take it. As just pointed out, the Iron Chef has combined boiled white and green asparagus marinated in olive oil together with boiled squid marinated in salt and sesame seed. Wow, that is great. And quality, not quantity, the hallmark of this one by the Iron Chef. And when you boil asparagus, for the white ones, some chefs add black tea, lemon juice, and water used from rinsing rice and also salted water. But for the green ones, if you use lemon, the color changes, so salted water is the best for that. Oh. I didn't know that, Hattori-san. And that way they should taste differently. Thank you very much. Fukuzan! Go! I asked Challenger Corby what his classic dish is going to be, and he replied asparagus with hollandaise sauce. And if I only had this one single dish, I know I would still win. Oh. All right, and this is it here? That's the one right there with the hollandaise oh. sauce, yes. So nice, I can't wait. <laughs> and should be a real treat, go! That hollandaise sauce consists of egg yolks, tarragon, salt, pepper, wine vinegar, and butter all whipped together. All right, simple, but boy, does that one look great. The mother of all asparagus dishes. <laughs> Ooh, it looks so nice. I can't wait. Should be a real treat. <laughs> and Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, that hollandaise sauce consists of egg yolks, tarragon, salt, pepper, wine vinegar, and butter all whipped together. Simple, but boy, does that look great. Oh, mm. the mother of all asparagus dishes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now the hollandaise sauce done right there, and Corby's moved on to another activity, a light saute or stir-fry effort. And now back with the Iron Chef, his asparagus soup still on in the wok, and back with Corby, and what's he got in this one here? Mm. Chinese matrimony nuts, perhaps, or pine seeds, maybe? I'm, I'm wondering, too. Not, not pine seeds, not? though. No, this could be a hot and spicy dish. Not garlic? Uh, Go. Go. Yeah, these are Chinese matrimony nuts, as you said, and pine seeds or pine nuts, yes. Uh, excuse us, Fukuzan. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the size of the screen fooled me. What can I yes. say? All right, yes, Corby, resorting to Chinese ingredients. Maybe for the texture and aroma. Texture, the idea. Yeah, to add the, a chewiness to a it. A one-off. Fukuzan? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I asked the challenger why he chose to use those ingredients, and he said, as you've probably guessed, it's to add a Chinese touch to this dish. All right, well, was able go. to come up with that. Yeah. He doesn't seem to be panicking, does he? Sure no. is a chef of high caliber, indeed, skilled and gifted especially for a chef still in his early 30s, Dominique Corby. Mm. Latour Darjan can certainly take pride in having him head their operation in Tokyo. Now, let's see if we can get a count and confirmation of what is happening on the Iron Chef side with the dishes here, with white and green asparagus topped with squid. He's also got the soup, asparagus soup. Let's see, right there, and mm. uh, luxurious consistency, looking at mm. that one up close. Mm. So there are two dishes on the books for the Iron Chef, as he now slicing and dicing some white asparagus, a study in concentration. And the challenger's entourage, yes. Yeah, getting back to the challenger's dish using matrimony nuts and pine seeds or pine nuts, also included in that were hazelnut oil and macadamia nuts. All right, thanks, and no let up from Corby's crowd upstairs. It's loud in here. They've kept it going pretty good for a while as we survey and scan the challenger's output now, and my, the white asparagus Fukuzan. and hollandaise sauce go. Yeah, you were saying how very much under control the challenger looks. Well, he might have been too lax about things. I heard that he just charred some of those nuts he was preparing. Uh -oh. <laughs> Five minutes mm -hmm. left, a bit of a mental lapse near the end, and the Iron Chefs on their side. Did you see they're on their feet cheering for Chen? Chen's on. 
Well, he's getting some support now. Working overtime, and even kind of Gower's up on his feet. Go. I asked Chenzhou whether he's going to make it or not in this short time left, and he said, I think I can make it. I like to say, I don't worry. I just have to finish the stir frying, is all. All right, less than five minutes now. Corby versus Iron Chef Chen in overtime. This after the Frenchman with Poagra's the theme against the Iron Chef Chinese, unable to come out ahead in the judgment. It ended tie, and boy, did it ever appear the rails were greased for a victory by the challenger, but here they are battling tightly again, and it looks like it's going to be another tight, close call. <laughs> no, don't taunt me, please. It'll be tough. <laughs> It'll have to be preference. That's the bottom line here. Mm -hmm. Fuagra battle, fukutomi san you gave Chen 19 points. Uh, the challenger 20, what was the Iron Chef missing? Nothing. They were perfect. Nothing? Yeah, absolutely nothing to say. Flawless. And Asana-san, where'd Corby slip? Well, it wasn't a matter of something missing. Everything was just too good. Yeah, All right. It's, it's impossible to call it here. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, you just saw the Iron Chef stir-frying some things. Two types of asparagus along with uh, salt, chanton soup, and what else in there? Seaweed, I think it was added. A fluffy seaweed. All right. The kind you use for okonomiyaki? Stir, uh, right, yeah. uh -huh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so it'll have a nice texture and aroma to this. Okay, a stir-fried asparagus dish, prominent role being played by the fluffy seaweed there. And there's a close-up shot of it, right? There, yes. Challenger Corby had to saute the mixed nuts once again because he burned the first batch. When I tried to ask him about it, he just waved me away with his hand and wouldn't answer, perhaps a little upset. <laughs> Exercising his right to that? remain silent mm. as he is getting his soup out and down into the bowls. The Iron Chef here with his asparagus bacon uh, he prawn boiled creation them. boiled. Oh, I guess he Not fried. Whoop. The Iron Chef, look. Well, they won't be overcooked that way. Mm. I think he's going to add this to the soup. To Three minutes left now. Ah, that's a yeah, soup. Definitely. Okay. It'll get the boiled okay. asparagus rolled with bacon and still a frantic scramble for Chen to get the cooking Fuku's done. On. Go! Iron Chef Chen seems to be enjoying the cheers coming from his comrades in the royal box. He says, hey, this is all right, a lot of fun. Now I'm motivated. <laughs> Trying to have <laughs> that support now. carry him How much time is he OT? <laughs> <laughs> Little over two and a half minutes to go and counting. Okay, so he did fry it. A huh? late deep fried job it is. Mm. So that will add some body to How it. How clever. Body and bite, but it'll have to be a quick deep fry. But also mm. this means it won't go into the soup. Yeah, as uh -huh. is then. Probably, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. I asked Iron Chef Chen why he sprinkled seaweed flakes over his asparagus, and he said, I don't know. Quit asking me stuff like that. I just <laughs> thought it would taste better. I don't know. He seems to be a little spacey, maybe a little too much excitement for one day. Oh, interesting. <laughs> All right, now Chen circling the wagons with the fluffy seaweed-covered stir fried asparagus, and you know something's going into the middle there, the space reserved. Let's get over to the challenger side. Corby, man alive, the finishing mm -hmm. touch is onto a thick, creamy asparagus soup going on top there, the nuts. Foie gras giving way to asparagus, our overtime theme ingredient. And the Iron Chef back with Chen, boiling something down here, a flavor condensing process in progress right to the end, and looks to have a hint of hot and spicy in that one. Kuzan? Yes. Yeah, in this walk, the Iron Chef has chanton soup, garlic, and scallions. All right. And he just added a touch of uh, tochi to that. Tochi, thanks. Mm -hmm. But we've got just a buck and some change left on the clock. And for Kazan? <laughs> yes. The challenger looks like he's finished everything. All right, Corby's clear. Got it. Yeah, and when I asked him to uh, sum up his dishes, he said, I made a point of creating dishes that are light and refreshing by using a lot of herbs, and I succeeded in all aspects. Okay, wow. one, two, three dishes over there. 30 minutes, and he was able to get them up and running, out and done, with about a minute to spare. A tour de force performance by the man from La Tour d'Arjan. Meantime, the Iron Chef continuing to hustle. The deep fried asparagus and bacon, now the recipient One of the Chanton Sky and Garlic finish. A minute left. Oh. And with everything done on his side, Corby can just relax and decompress during the final 60 seconds. Some very concerned expressions upstairs on the Iron Chef side. Sakai trying to fire up Chen. And now he is plating his finished asparagus bacon pieces. And they're going into the center of that plate with the stir fried asparagus. Wow. Unbelievable. Hey, let's go. Only a minute left. <laughs> Wow. No, it's hot enough, so it'll be okay, though. Okay, a double yeah. shot of asparagus on that one. Nothing light about it, too. It should be certainly packing a lot of flavor in 30 seconds left. Gosh, he's so controlled. Yeah, he's this so man cool. is impressive. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah, you know, I mean, he's only 33, and he's so yeah. controlled. Right. Don't Under lose Iron Chef. But they are <laughs> it upstairs, and now wow. the Iron Chef still scurrying to the end. It's going to be heartbreak go. for one of these guys to have come this far. 60 minutes plus 30, 10 90 10 minutes of go. battle. Chen with the final finishing touches. Challenger number 300 Five has seconds. pushed him to the limit today. An Three, exercise in excellence two, on both one. sides. We're counting it down and that's it. The cooking's done. The asparagus overtime battle is over.
How was it going into overtime? Uh, I wasn't expecting this. And you thought you'd yes, won? I had no doubt I'd won. Okay, and how about this time? I'll win for sure. Yeah? Without a doubt. Without a doubt? No doubt. Yes. So just like last time, you are yes, confident? I'm confident. All right. <laughs> you seemed to hit full gear about the time the cheering started. The crowd, yeah, it was nice. Uh huh. <laughs> and how about your dishes? <laughs> I don't know. But of course, compared with the first battle, you were dealing yeah. with an ingredient that was easier for you. I mean, one that you're more familiar with, right? Familiar with that kind of time frame? I just had to go with the flow, but uh, I did my best. I'm just happy with that. Yeah. Challenger Corby is offering three dishes. First, white asparagus fricasse with a layer of consomme jelly at the base. Along with the white asparagus, tasters also get to enjoy sauteed green asparagus. Second, cold green asparagus soup, a refreshing soup using a lot of fruit. He also added some Chinese nuts as a tribute to Iron Chef Chinese Chen. Last is white asparagus with hollandaise sauce, a straightforward treatment along the royal road of French cuisine doing justice to white asparagus. The flavor of the thick hollandaise sauce will leave a lasting imprint in the taster's memories. Iron Chef Chen has a set of three as well. First, hot and spicy asparagus and squid. His hot and spicy sauce accentuates the gentle sweetness of the asparagus, while the squid adds an accent and texture. Second, Chinese asparagus soup. Light, yet there is body to the dish. The Iron Chef has succeeded in condensing all that asparagus has to offer. Last is stir-fried bacon and asparagus. He deliberately held back from his A-game, not using hot bean paste, instead salt-cured chili to bring a refreshing finish to the meal. And now the tasters will have to make room for the overtime round of tasting. When the verdict came down, disbelief on one side, the Poivre battle ending in a tie. So back to the cutting board for today's challenger, head chef of La Tour d'Argent Tokyo, the restaurant's only branch, Dominique Corby, the Frenchman unable to close it out with Poivre, as Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi held his own against the French cuisine expert. We go to overtime, and Chairman Kaga unveils the overtime theme ingredient, asparagus, leveling the cooking field. 30 minutes of overtime, the challenger whips up a sumptuous set of three. A mad dash to the very end, the Iron Chef manages to complete three of his own. The moment of truth, tasting and judgment for the overtime. Again, on the panel are photographer Tenmei Kano, actress Yuko Asano, newscaster Norio Fukutome, and fortune teller Kazuko Hosoki. First, the dishes of Challenger Corby. Last time it was foie gras, so I tried mild and rather refreshing dishes. Mm. <laughs> Are you always like that when having great food? Well, food that is this good, honestly, in my 57 year long life. 57 years? This is the best food I've had in my entire life, really. This is simply heaven. The texture of asparagus is maintained well. Meanwhile, I feel a bit of a sourness in this, which matches well with the consomme jelly. And uh, anyway, it's light, yet not too light, I would say. Mm. It works very well, I think. The saltiness is just right, perfect. I like this very much. The way he's used the fruit is so clever. So well, yes. It's great. It's so pretty. So refreshing. And the, the appearance, it's beauty, it's, it's really perfect, I think. He's calculated very well helping our digestion with this nice soup. You know, I just can't stop. <laughs> Even though I'm full, I keep eating. It's very good. Thank you. Very, very good. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> you have to cry? <laughs> of course it's good. Now this would be lovely on a summer evening. When things are cooling down, you want a dish with a bit of warmth. Hmm, this sauce is just perfect, really. The asparagus is sweet, kind of like the sweetness of corn. 
it's warm and light, you could say. Yeah, the texture and the warmth of the asparagus is very nicely combined, yeah. I think. During the limited time frame, he was able to draw from all of his experiences and made three dishes that really impressed us all. And I'm just so amazed with what he did. Everything was very good. They were visually appealing and were great in terms of flavor. Also with aroma, he has entertained us so well. Now up, the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. Uh, light. Yeah, light. Light, yeah. You try to wing it? Kind of, yeah. That's when the real skill comes out. <laughs> Boiled asparagus and squid, uh, flavored with uh, Chinese soy sauce. <laughs> this is so good. You like it? Because it's uh, refreshing. Food made by chefs of this caliber really makes me forget I'm full. The asparagus is so fresh and stimulating, I'd say. But I wanted mine just a little bit crispier. To oh, why? It's truth? just fine. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Hosoki-san. <laughs> the sauce is sexy. The flavor is sexy. You got it, yeah. That's what makes you go for it. I like it a lot. Blended chicken and white asparagus. How do you like it? So good. So tactful. I mean, it's his usual approach, it's Chen San's way, but it is so perfected in this. I know we have to compare this with the challenger soup, but the bottom line is personal preference, if you really want us to decide. There's such a contrast. That's uh, what I meant. Yeah, I agree. I'm yes. not motivated to cook it myself, but someday I might uh... give it a try. Bacon and prawns. Now, honestly speaking, it's a lot lighter than it looks. Yes. The hotness comes from chili. Salt pure chili. Huh. It's a bit sour. Okay, so is that why the bacon isn't that greasy after you fried it? Well, I steamed it once. Ah, is that it? Right. You added prawns, which acted as a cushion for the asparagus, and added saltiness by using bacon. It was perfect. I ate it up in no time. Very oh, good. good. Thanks. They were so wonderful. Well, now, they look familiar, but he added his own originality to it with his great skill. Yes. Oh, yeah, this could qualify for one of the best battles we've had so far. It's going to be really tough to decide. I'm ready to decide by pure personal preference this time. Yes, overtime, the payoff for time and a half, the verdict. Celebrating our 300th challenger, the Fuagra battle tied in just the sixth overtime in Kitchen Stadium history. Challenger Corby, the young genius from La Tour d'Argent, again captivating us with asparagus. Iron Chef Chen, resourceful, resilient, but once again, the judges are deadlocked. It'll come down to total points. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Unbelievable! Both men are announced as the winner! The Iron Chef and the Challenger! The first time this has ever happened! And look at the two! They embrace both Chen and Corby declared the winners. They fought two grueling battles, a total of 90 minutes, and both come out on top in the most unusual verdict we've ever seen, perhaps the most incredible day we've ever had. All right, the 
the scores. Kano, 20 to 19, Iron Chef. Asano, 20 to 19, the challenger. Fukutomi, 1918, the challenger. Hosoki, 1918, Iron Chef. Two to two, and amazing total points tied again at 76. What are the odds of that happening? An inspiring verdict, both men winning on the occasion of challenger number 300 visiting here. Dominique Corby winning along with Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. It was a wonderful match, yeah? I completely support having two winners. I would make the same decision. This was certainly a difficult one to judge. This was the toughest ever, in my opinion. I'd just like to congratulate both of them. Honestly, these two chefs have served me the best dishes that I've ever had in my life, that's for sure. Now, as for the young 33-year-old challenger, I really see him as being the flag bearer of top French cuisine in the next century. On the other hand, I can see Chin San as playing the role of mentor from now on, spreading his flavors and influence to younger chefs. Knowing these two chefs has truly enriched my life. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah.